Hi there, welcome to my views and news. Two new stories. Firstly, is a Turkey going to deploy its warships, its frigates to Somalia's territorial waters? It was announced a few weeks ago by Turkey. Now it seems that final move is going to be made by Turkey. When will Turkish warships arrive in Somalia's territorial waters? Where will they be deployed? Uh, a likely date has been announced. Secondly, Debrecen Gabriel Mikhail, TPLF chairman, in a social media message last night, clarified his remarks. Uh, during an interview three days ago, Debrecen talked about genocide in Tigray. In this new message, he says that his uh, comments about genocide uh, were deliberately misrepresented. What is he saying? Let's start uh, from Somalia. We know that earlier this year, Somalia signed a defense treaty with Turkey. This treaty has never uh, it was not made public. No one knows what are the contents of this treaty. But Somalia's parliament approved it. Uh, lawmakers were not allowed to read the agreement. The treaty was signed to stop Ethiopia from implementing its controversial MOU with Somaliland, which was signed before this treaty. Under this treaty, Turkey would train Somalia's forces. And Turkey would protect Somalia's territorial waters. In return for Turkey getting a share in Somalia's underwater resources, oil, gas, hydrocarbons. Turkey is already training Somalia's forces. Before this treaty as well, Turkey was uh, training Somalia's forces. Turkey is going to start now its exploration activities in Somalia's territorial waters. A Turkish exploration ship is going to arrive in Somalia's waters in October. At the start of October, date has been finalized. Orich Race is the name of this ship which will conduct research, it will conduct surveys, it will try to uh, find uh, reserves of oil and gas through its exploration activities. Orich Race has been conducting such activities in Eastern Mediterranean as well. I remember when I covered Turkey Greece conflict years ago. Back then, I did some videos on Orich Race. I remember. Orich Race will arrive in Somalia next month. It won't be alone, it will be heavily protected. At least two frigates will protect Orich Race and several other ships as well. Orich Race will have a sort of contingent of contingent of ships, warships to protect it. Because Somalia's waters are not safe. Uh, pirates operate here. There are tensions between Somalia and Ethiopia to Somalia and Somaliland as well. And Houthis are also involved in attacks on commercial ships, Houthis of Yemen. Uh, Turkey has acquired three fields where this exploration work will be conducted in Somalia's water. Each field has an area of around 5,000 square kilometers. Uh, Question is, will there be any deployment of these Turkish frigates to Somali land territorial waters? Where are these three fields located? 
Somalia says Somali land is part of uh, Somalia. But Somali land has issued statements recently rejecting the deployment of Turkish Navy, saying that no one will be allowed to enter Somali land's territorial waters. So we'll have to wait. Decision has been made next month. Turkish exploration ship and warships will arrive in Somalia. Somalia wants the deployment of Turkish warships as soon as possible because it wants Turkish naval presence to use as a defense against Ethiopian move to uh, build a naval base in Somali land. Turkey has been waiting to see the outcome of talks between Ethiopia and Somalia. Two rounds of talks held, no breakthrough, no agreement. Third round postponed. Maybe Turkey will now make a move and send its warships and uh, exploration ships to Somalia next month reported. How will Somali land respond? How will Ethiopia respond? I think that depends upon where Turkish brigades and ships will be deployed. So we'll have to wait. Second was the Brats and Gabriel Mikhail, TPLF chairman, last night uh, issued a social media statement, a message, which is a clarification. Three days ago, De Bratzen was interviewed and criticized uh, those who are saying that uh, million, one million people died in Tigray. Genocide was committed against one, mil one million people in Tigray and TPLF is responsible for this genocide. In the interview, he said that the number was not correct. One million had not died in the war. And then we saw a barrage of criticism against TPLF uh, and the President Mikhail. People from Gitacho camp accused him of denying genocide. That is why the Bratzian had to issue a statement last night. The Bratz the Bratzian says, by the way, the Bratzian used to remain silent, but now he's very vocal. He gives interviews. He does not uh, waste any opportunity when it comes to criticizing TPLF, uh, Gitacho group, and sometimes federal government as well. The Bretzian says that yes, genocide was committed. Genocide still being committed in parts of Fulkai, Raya, Salanti. People are spreading false information. He said he never denied committing of genocide against the people of Tigray. Numbers don't matter. Genocide is still ongoing. And those who are trying to discredit him and other TPLF leaders are basically supporting those who committed genocide and who are still committing genocide. And he said that those who are leveling false allegations, deliberately misinterpreting his remarks are uh, the people who released genociders. What does he mean? In that interview, he said that Gita Chorida government released 400 END of soldiers. And those soldiers had been found involved in acts of genocide against the people of Tegarar. Though General Varede responded to the Bratzian's uh, accusation saying that no, a prisoner swap agreement had been reached with the federal government. So Tegarai released END of members involved in acts of violence and the federal government released, uh, released Tegarai speaking END of members involved or allegedly involved in acts of treason, violence, etc. It was a prisoner swap agreement uh, where they defended the release of ENDF soldiers. But uh, the Bratzian is reiterating uh, his position that Gitacho government released genociders and this government is leveling false allegations against the uh, Bratzian, uh, Gabriel Mikhail, that uh, he is denying genocide. He said no no denial, rather genocide was committed, still being committed, 
and those who should have uh, backed international investigation into genocide uh, what did integrai oppose the genocide uh, investigation international investigation eplf is accusing gitacho government that gitacho government actually collaborated with the federal government to put an end to international inquiry commission which was formed to inquire into the human rights abuses committed in tegra back then both kitacho and tpl were on, on one page both agreed both uh, collaborated with the federal government and they agreed to uh, abandon international inquiries thank you for watching